listen in for Jim Lakey over here at the Shepherd Center. And you can always get us uh, on the web at sandylandcenter.org um, anytime, 24-7, that is available to you. And you can also come and visit us over here on the south side of the square any morning, weekday mornings from 9 until 12 o'clock where there are always somebody here to greet you and a nice warming cup of coffee, so do come by. And today is Monday the 11th of May and our weather for today over at the National um, Weather Service it is, they are forecasting a risk of severe thunderstorms this afternoon across southern Texas and throughout the southern Great Lakes area. And since last Tuesday, May the 5th, according to one expert, Dr. Greg uh, says, at the Storm Prediction Center, there have been over 137 tornadoes which have touched down in the U.S. so far. And this month of May is um, statistically the worst month for tornadoes across the U.S. Um, we're tracking right in that vein, but hopefully we'll miss it, most of it. But here in St. John, after a very cool morning, um, the temperature is right at 56 degrees on a somewhat cloudy skies. So There's a mixture of clouds and blue skies up there right now. And today, Monday, we could expect mostly sunny skies with a high near 66 degrees Fahrenheit and a northwest wind at 11, 14 to 18 miles per hour with gusts as high as 28 miles per hour. And tonight, Monday night, it will be mostly clear with a low around 39 degrees with north-northwest winds at 12 to 70 miles per hour. And after midnight, it will go um, north northwesterly, uh, with somewhat of a lighter um, speed. Tomorrow, um, Tuesday, we can expect it to be sunny with a high near 72, with a northeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour, becoming south southeasterly in the afternoon. And tomorrow night, Tuesday night, it could be partly cloudy to, with a low around 52 degrees with a south-southeast wind at 10 to 70 miles per hour. On Wednesday, we could expect a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly after 2 p.m. And it will remain mostly cloudy with a high near 69, the wind south-southeasterly, at 10 to 16 miles per hour. And Wednesday night, there's going to be somewhat of a change in the weather. Look out for a chance of showers on Wednesday night and thunderstorms. Then the showers will likely come after 8 p.m. and it will remain mostly cloudy that night with a low around 56 with a 70% 70, 70 chance of precipitation. And we're looking for new rainfall amounts between a quarter to a half an inch. Thursday, um, also 70% chance of rain with a high of 76 and a new rainfall amount of a, a tenth to a quarter of an inch. And Thursday night, 30% um, chance of showers and thunderstorm. And for the rest of the weekend, the chances of precipitation are between 30 to 40 percent during the day and between 20 to 50 percent at night with rain and thunderstorms and the low at night at 58 to 60 degrees and the high daytime wise 79 to right around 79 low ages um, for the daytime wise. So expect a wet, rainy and thunderstorms for the weekend. I know the farmers really do enjoy the wheat, the rains, and all the fields are looking really, really lush. So look out for the rain. Today we just want to bring your attention to some cancer therapies that might be hiding in your kitchen cupboard. A recent Douglas report 
health report stated that 90% of solid cancers such as lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast and colon cancer is predominantly resistant to chemotherapy. But there are other options to these cancer therapies. And here are the top six cancer swears. Um, number one, green tea. The, the compound epigallocatechin, EGCG, found in green tea, can enter the mitochondria of cancer cells and destroy the cancer cells without harming the surrounding good tissue. Another um, ingredient lurking in your cupboard that may be good is olive oil. Olive oil protects healthy tissue while destroying cancerous tumor cells. And the active ingredient is oleocanthal, found in extra virgin olive oil, which can um, which has brain um, reconstituting powers and it it's heart protecting and cancer fighting and these are some of the properties in extra virgin olive oil another one that may be in your cupboard is cocoa the key ingredient in chocolate is packed with cancer fighting flavonoids such as pentameric procyanidin which blocks cell division in cancer cells it, cocoa also has polyphenols, which have been shown to block the growth of prostate cancer. Another fighting, um, cancer fighting ingredient in your kitchen cupboard is garlic. Garlic, uh, the allicin in garlic causes death of cancer cells. For maximum effect, if you're going to use a garlic, you want to crush it 15 minutes before you use it and just let it sit there to allow the, the enzymes um, to act and, then, and to be released from the raw um, garlic. And if you must cook it, then just put it in the last few minutes when you're cooking. Don't fry it and cook out all the good acid in the garlic. And cholesterol. Cholesterol is um, is good uh, contrary to um, some people might think cholesterol is not good, but um, abnormally low cholesterol levels tend to promote um, cancer. So you have to be careful how you eat the things that have cholesterol because you do need some cholesterol to help to prevent cancer. And another thing that might be lurking in your cupboard is chamomile. As well as a sleep promoting soporific, chamomile is cancer fighting. It contains the compound apigenin, which helps to slow the growth of tumors of breast cancer. So reach into your cupboard and use up your green tea or olive oil. Drink lots of warm cocoa, not with sugar though, because sugar promotes the growth of cancer. So use your cocoa, but not chocolate and sweet chocolatey things. And that may be helpful if you or someone is um, fighting the disease. It's just good information to know as we go about our eating habits or healthy eating habits. So mark your calendars today for some birthdays and anniversaries and some community events. Um, we want to wish Janice Moore, who has a birthday today, and then tomorrow Ray Daly Pete has a birthday, and on Wednesday Kent Bowles has a birthday on the 13th. And on the 15th, Brent Staub and Reverend Irwin Simon has a birthday. So if you see these people, make sure you wish them happy birthday. Send them a card, give them a call. Wish them happy birthday. 
I know this week is going to be a very busy week, I know, for the young people over at the school. They have their uh, baccalaureate service um, this Wednesday the 13th. So if you're interested in um, going to that service, make sure you give them a call and get the, the precise details as to the time and the exact location. But I do know that they will be doing that this Wednesday. And um, as the school year winds down and we launch them out into the big wide world. Um, over at Stafford County, they have some playing cards available. The Stafford County Museum has created a deck of playing cards that features 56 unique photos and educational facts about Stafford County on the face of each card. The cards are now available for purchase. These limited edition cards highlight the history and culture of our communities and make a beautiful creative collectible for our, of our county. The Historical Society is proud to offer the Stafford County Souvenir playing cards to the public at a cost of $12 per pack plus $3 shipping. For more information, drop by the museum uh, office or email the, them at their Gmail address or call them at 620-234-564 and that email address is schgs1976 at gmail.com I know with the county fair coming up that is going to be a, a good thing for you to collect and I plan on collecting one myself to have good happy memories of Stafford County. And some things of interest, not locally but certainly in the state of Kansas. The AARP in Kansas is backing uh, a legislative measure that would allow advanced practice registered nurse and they're called APRNs to practice in Kansas without having a written agreement with a physician. APRNs have postgraduate degrees and advanced training. This legislation would require them to hold a national uh, certification in a particular area of practice and to carry out practice insurance in some cases. They would be able to sign some papers that the doctors normally sign, uh, documents that uh, require doctor's signature, and, um, and here in Kansas, there's an acute shortage of primary care physicians, especially in areas like ours and in rural areas uh, that are underserved. If this legislation passes the State House, it will allow the APRIMS to help fill this um, really acute shortage. So if you wish to encourage lawmakers to support the bills, and they're the bills SB69 and HB2122, do contact your legislator, and you can go on the web to the kansaslegislator.org and click on to find your specific um, um, representative. And there are other initiatives going on, um, that as a citizen doing our um, civic duty, um, just call up and get involved in that process. Call your representative and keep, keep involved in the conversation and the action. Because it's so important for um, our communities and I know this one will definitely help to advance the healthcare in our community. And so mark your calendars now for the, the meals. Um, 
Tomorrow over at the Sunflower Center, they will be serving up some roast turkey, a turkey gravy with sweet potatoes, southern green beans, and a fruit cocktail. And on Wednesday, they will be serving up a pork fritter, all gratin potatoes, cooked cabbage, um, a cake with frosting and mandarin oranges. And Thursday, it will be pollock, uh, caprice, wild rice, broccoli, mixed greens, and a fruit dessert. And over at the Maxville Center, tomorrow, they're serving a um, hamburger, or liver and onions with deli fixings, baked beans, and a um, roll. And on Wednesday, they'll be serving up a tuna casserole with green beans and bacon. And they'll have some peach for dessert. And on Thursday, they'll be serving up some potatoes au gratin, um, carrots, cinnamon rolls, and a citrus fruit cup. So if you do need a healthy, nutritious, well-balanced meal, you'll give either of those two centers a call, and they will be sure to have that delivered to you. And as usual, we'd like to have a thought for the day, something you can ponder on. And our thought for today is, rare is a person who can weigh the faults of others without putting a thumb on the scale. Think about that. If you're one of those rare persons who can weigh the faults of another person without putting a thumb on the scale. So you have a good afternoon and keep warm.